Hello, my name is Kara Walker, and I'm going to present work completed by myself and co-authors Vince, Sasha, and Professors Collins and Okamura, entitled Teleoperation of an Ankle Foot Prosthesis with a Wrist Exoskeleton. We created a system that allows someone with the transtibial amputation to directly control their robotic ankle foot prosthesis with a wrist exoskeleton. This video shows a participant operating the device while walking with the prosthesis. The bottom right panel shows a desired trajectory that we gave the participant in blue, and how well he was able to follow this trajectory over time in black. But why would someone want to teleoperate their own prosthetic limb? Motor commands and proprioceptive feedback play important roles in movement, and both are lost when someone loses a limb due to amputation. By using a wrist exoskeleton to both teleoperate and receive feedback regarding the state of the ankle, we can introduce these missing pathways in a non-invasive manner. To test this idea, we built a one degree of freedom wrist exoskeleton capable of sensing wrist angle and transmitting up to one newton meters of wrist flexion and extension torque. We then developed a control strategy that interfaces with an ankle foot prosthesis by directly mapping scaled wrist position to ankle position and providing scaled torque feedback from the ankle foot prosthesis. One open question was if human wrist control is sensitive enough to accurately command different ankle trajectories in real time while walking. We brought in one pilot participant to test this question and examine system viability. In the experiment, we provided a visual display of desired and measured wrist trajectories and found the error between the two. The participant underwent a series of training trials to acclimate to the system, first while sitting, then standing, before walking was tested. He also first completed these conditions without haptic feedback before haptic feedback was added. Each trial lasted five minutes and two trajectories were provided for each condition. This protocol was repeated on a second day. For the walking trial with the trajectory most similar to the biological ankle, this plot shows the root mean square error in the participant's wrist trajectory from desired to actual wrist angle. Wrist error was initially high, but by the second day, the participant achieved errors less than typical human wrist proprioceptive errors. These dashed lines indicate the two desired trajectories, one emulating walking with a passive prosthesis and the other emulating a biological ankle trajectory with active push-off. The participant's resulting average wrist angles are shown in red, Teleoperation resulted in average ankle prosthesis angles shown in gray. The close match with the scaled wrist positions demonstrate that the system is working as intended. These ankle trajectories resulted in differing ankle prosthesis torques, with the trajectory emulating active push-off producing greater ankle torque. Finally, ankle torques were scaled and fed back to the participant through the wrist exoskeleton. In conclusion, we build a system that non-invasively provides control and sensory feedback to people with amputation, a pilot participant was able to effectively control the ankle with the wrist after just one day of training, and future work will investigate the effect of the system on different gait metrics. Thank you to our participant, our prosthetist, and our funding sources.